up everybody this is nightwing 2303 and today we have a quick look at the recently released nike air bacon retro um, this is not the first time that they've released i believe they dropped not too long ago back in around 2007 2008 uh, i do remember seeing this exact colorway over at nordstrom rack for about 40 dollars and uh, they were size eight and a half and i tried them on they were just too snug so i passed on them something that i you know wish like maybe i could have made it work or whatever but i'm glad that they retroed so i didn't have to and um, I ended up picking them up this morning. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys. So here they are. These things are super, super classics. Um, I Man, I can't even remember when they originally dropped. I want to say it was like the late 90s, like 1997, 98-ish. Um, and uh, these, this colorway in particular was originally worn by Tim Hardaway. And uh, he used to be a warrior. So, you know, Dub Nation. But um, he was actually playing for the uh, Miami Heat at the time uh, with Alonzo Mourning. And um, that dude was straight breaking ankles in these things, man. And I don't even know how because I'll go into their construction a little bit. But, um, uh, but yeah, that, that guy was just a monster. His crossover, they used to call it the killer crossover. And um, it was not even a extremely uh, like complicated crossover. It was actually just a very simple one-two, uh, left, right, or left, uh, left, right, or right, left, sorry, um, and that's pretty much it, sometimes he'd go under the leg, sometimes he wouldn't, and uh, it was just so effective the way that he sold it every time that he just, I mean, straight up like broke ankles all day, and that dude was just crazy, so um, he was one of the best point guards as far as like, kind of like getting you off the dribble at that time, um, but yeah, so that's who used to wear these, so there's other players as well, um, but the one that sticks out on my mind is just Tim Hardaway. This shoe also originally released with a lot of criticism because of the branding that used to be right here on the back. Um, as you can see, it says Nike Air now, but uh, back in the day, it actually just said Air, and it was kind of like in flames. Um, that was the, the way that it was supposed to look, and um, they ended up recalling all of the shoes that had that kind of branding on it because... Um, I want to say it's Muslims, but I'm, I really don't know anything about like that kind of culture, so I don't want to like put my foot in my mouth. But basically, all I know is that um, I guess it looked like the word Allah, but on fire, and so you know a certain group got like really uh, offended by it and everything. So Nike had to recall them. There's still there were still pairs floating around and everything. Like people would sell them on eBay or they'd pop up on eBay here and there, but um, that was a uh, I guess their original kind of like backstory and stuff uh, to this shoe, uh, my, the Tim Hardaway, you know, memories, and then also uh, the whole recall issue with the branding and everything. So, so as far as a basketball shoe, I was originally going to wear test these, and um, I since have decided not to. I think I'm just going to wear these casually, um, mostly because they just, I already know that they just don't offer what I want personally, and, um, you know, with that, I'm probably not going to be too happy of a camper uh, playing in these guys here. Um, mostly my knees. I'm just getting at an age where like certain things just won't work with me. So, um, and it's basically because it's like gigantic rubber midsole, which extends practically full length. It is broken up here on the inside where you could see some of the phylon and everything, but the phylon's real dense too. And, uh, there is an embedded, uh, air sole unit in the forefoot. Um, at least that's what I believe I felt. And then you obviously have this one uh, larger one in the heel. So that's their, their cushion. 